Hello there, welcome back to The Smart Student. My name is Chelsea Sieber and I'm happy you're here today because I wanna teach you how to master setting up APA title pages. And don't worry, I brought Miss Maisie along for emotional support because APA formatting needs it. But anyways, if you're interested in watching the full APA formatting video, be sure to check out this video right here. And of course, you know I have a playlist for everything APA related if you need help with anything else. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, welcome. So this is the title page that we're gonna be building from scratch right now. Basically, I want you to see what it looks like as a finished result before we go through how to do it so you know what to expect. And also, I've created this template. If you'd like to download it, there's a link to it in the description below, and I'm going to include a link to it in the first comment of this video as well. This is a template you can download, keep on your computer, and reference it later for all things APA formatting. But now let's go ahead and get to the part where we build that title page. First things first, when you open up a blank document, what you want to do is set up the general formatting for your APA styled paper. So this is going to include setting the margins, your font size and type, your line spacing and your page number. Starting with your margins, you want to make sure your page has a one inch border around all sides. Now, the good news is this is the default setting in most Microsoft programs. I'm actually going to say all Microsoft programs, but if you want to check for this, the way you would do this is you would click the layout tab and from here you would select the margins drop down menu. If you'll notice, normal is selected, which shows a one inch border for the top, bottom, left, and right. And by the way, if you're measuring in centimeters, this will say 2.54. You just wanna make sure that normal is checked. We see that it is, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the home tab. The next step in setting up your title page would be to set your font size and type. And when it comes to the type of font, basically you wanna use a font that's large enough and legible for your reader to easily read your paper. Now there's actually a list of predetermined acceptable fonts under APA style. I'm gonna list them out on this side of the screen, but my personal recommendation is to go with Times New Roman size 12 because this is a universally accepted academic font. So if you notice, change it to Times New Roman size 12, and with that, your font is now set. Awesome, let's go ahead and set the line spacing for our paper. Under APA 7th edition, your line spacing should be double spaced. So what you wanna do is come up here to the toolbar in the home tab and select the line and paragraph spacing dropdown menu. From here, you wanna change the line spacing to 2.0. Now, it's very important that you select this dropdown menu one more time and select line spacing options because it's going to pull up this window and you wanna make sure that this box that says don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is selected. Once it is, you're going to hit okay and your line spacing is now set. Awesome, now the last thing we have to set for general formatting is our page numbers. And there are two ways to do this. You can either go to the insert tab from the toolbar and select the page number dropdown menu. However, my favorite way to insert page numbers is to simply double click in the header ribbon like you saw me do just now. Because from here, it's going to bring up the page number dropdown menu option for you automatically. Now you'll go ahead and select the page number dropdown. You wanna select page number. And then with this window open, you wanna make sure that the alignment is on the right. And from here, you're gonna hit okay. Now you're going to see the page number pop up in the right hand side of the screen. But you're not done yet because you wanna make sure that your page number font is the font you selected for your paper. If you'll notice, my page number is Calibri and my paper is written in Times New Roman. So I'm simply going to highlight that number and change the font size and type to Times New Roman. It's already at 12, so I'm going to leave that. And then to exit this header ribbon, I can double click anywhere on my paper just like that. And now the general formatting is set up and we can move on to typing out the elements on the title page. 
Okay, so the first thing I recommend doing is centering your text. You're going to select the centering option up here from the toolbar, which will bring your cursor to the middle of the page. To start your first element, which is going to be the title of your paper, I recommend hitting enter about five to six times. So one, two, three, four, five. That's going to bring me to the middle of my paper. And now let's go ahead and write out our title. Now, when it comes to the formatting of your title, very simple. What you need to remember is that your title should be typed out in bolded font and in capital case. Capital case is the same thing as title case, and that simply means that all major words should be capitalized. Two other things to remember is that you do not want to abbreviate any words in your title, and it should not exceed more than 50 characters. Now, if you're wondering, oh, I have a hard time writing my titles, I'm about to show you a trick because your title should be a clear, concise description of what your paper is about. So with that in mind, what I always tell my students to do is simply use their assignment to grab their title from. So I'm not gonna read through this entire assignment, but let me show you the logic for how I would choose my title. These are the instructions, and basically, I tell my students to ask themselves, what are you being asked to write about? That is what you're gonna base your title off of. So this assignment is, I'm supposed to write an assessment of current economic events and predictions about one of these companies I choose. Hmm, that's a pretty strong title right there because that's exactly what my paper is about. So that's what I'm gonna write my title as. So let's go ahead and type out our title now. Remember, we're going to bold our font, which you can select this B from the toolbar up here. And then our title is current events and predictions. And let's say from that list of companies, I chose to write about American Express. Now, I just wanna point out that there are a few options of variations of how you can include your title. So let's say I wanted to include American Express as a subtitle, I could include it on a second line like this, and that's totally acceptable. I could also put American Express in front of current events if I wanted to as well. That doesn't necessarily matter. The title is up to you, but the last thing I wanna leave you with is that if you're spending more than a minute trying to come up with what your title should be, I promise you're putting too much thought into it. Again, go back to your assignment, ask yourself, what am I writing about? And then use that as your title. But let's go ahead and move on to the next element in the title paper, which is your name. And there are two things you need to do. First, you need to hit enter twice. One, two, because you wanna make sure there's a gap line between your title and your name. Next, you wanna make sure to unbold your font because everything else in your title page will be written in normal text. So for my name, I would include it like so, with my first name, middle initial, and last name. Now, let's say I were writing this paper with a co-author. The way you would include the second author is first you wanna type out the word and, you never wanna include an ampersand sign in place of and on your title page, and then go ahead and type out the co-author like you would normally. By the way, did you know that middle initial stands for Rodney? So his full name is Ryan Rodney Reynolds, how wild. <laughs> but now let's say it's not two authors but three authors working on this paper together so in this case what you'd want to do is include a comma between the first two authors again type out the word and and then go ahead and type out the third author as you would normally like so now I don't know about you but I would read this paper but unfortunately we only have one author writing this paper. I mean, a girl can dream, but it's just me. So we're gonna stick to this single name only. And this leads us right into the next element, which is the affiliation line. And simply put, the affiliation is the department or division you're associated with and the university you're attending. So very simple, I'm gonna hit enter one time to start on a new line. I'm gonna type out the department I'm associated with, which for me, I was getting my MBA, so this means the Department of Business. Next, you wanna include one comma and then include the name of your university. 
There are two things I'd like to note about the affiliation line before I move on. So a common question I get is when a student is taking a course that is associated with a different department than the department that they're receiving their degree in. So this is very common. Let's say I'm receiving my MBA, but I'm taking a psychology course. That psychology course is not a course under the department of business. So the question is, which department would you include in your paper? Simply put, you would still include the department that your degree is associated with. You'll always include that department. The second note I would like to make is, again, you do not want to abbreviate your university unless that's how your university includes their official title. So since this is John F. Kennedy, that's how my university includes their title on all official documents. That's the reason it's abbreviated here. But as a rule of thumb, if your university does not abbreviate, then you should not either. And now let's go ahead and move on to the next element, which is your course information. For your course information, you wanna include your course code and the name of your course. If you don't know what your course code is, you can always look at your course information and it's included right here. So for this one, it's gonna be MBA 630. So going back to our title page, you wanna make sure to hit enter one time, again, to start on a fresh line, type out the course code MBA 630. You now wanna include one colon because this is going to separate the code and the name of the course. And the next, you would type out the name of the course. But once you're finished with that, you're gonna move on to the next element, which is the name of your professor. So again, you wanna hit enter one time to begin on a new line and then type out your professor's name the way they prefer it. But now that I'm finished with the professor element, I'm going to hit enter one last time and that's going to bring me to the last element in my title page, which is the due date. This is simply the due date of the assignment and it should be included in a month, day, year format. So let's say this paper was due May 5th, 2021. I would type out the due date like so. Now that our title page is finished, I wanna leave you with one pro tip, and that is from here, I recommend inserting a page break. So to do this, you wanna come up here to the toolbar, select the insert tab, and then you'll see this pages dropdown menu. From here, go ahead and select page break. The reason this is nice is because it will bring you to the top of the next blank page and it will not change your formatting moving forward. So if you have to make formatting changes to your document, your title page will always stay as is. All right, guys, so that page break is inserted. We're officially on the first blank page in our document. I think that means we're done with our title page. Something to keep in mind here is that abstracts are no longer required under APA 7th edition. However, some professors will because they can ask for them still. And if they do, this is where you'll put the abstract. For all other papers, what you're gonna do next is copy and paste the title of your paper as the first section heading on this first blank document. And then you'll simply start your paper. Oh. Hey there, if you're here right now, then congratulations because you made it to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful and be sure to keep in mind that my channel is dedicated to APA formatting. So if you have any questions, there's a good chance I've covered it in another video. All you have to do is ask or search for it. And of course, if you're not a part of the smart student community, be sure to come say hi on Facebook or Patreon. I'd love to have you guys there. But as always, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe for more Courtney videos, I mean videos, like this every week. Thanks, guys.